I read, I do my kanji reviews, I learn, and most importantly, I watch a lot of videos all in Japanese. But I wouldn't call this a routine. This is just something that I do every day and it has just become part of my everyday life. So I'm not going to show you a routine either. I'm just going to show you what I do on an everyday life of mine when I feel like learning Japanese because I just do this whenever I feel like it. So when I wake up, I try to do my um, kanji reviews first. 69 lessons to do and 88 reviews which i did not expect so i'm going to do those reviews now and then probably do i don't know like half of the lessons normally i try to do this as soon as i wake up but recently i've been working at like 6 or 7 a.m and then so i waited and now they kind of piled up so i've got a lot of lessons to do now all right so i finished my reviews there's still 34 left but i'll do those i don't know somewhere in the afternoon or maybe in the evening probably not in the evening maybe tomorrow morning when i wake up Anyway, I did all my reviews. I did all of them, 80 plus in like 8 minutes. Uh, because these are all beginner kanji, so I know pretty much all of them already. So I can just go through them. Because um, I'm only at level 5, look at this. This says 5 if you don't know. And I'm only at level 5 because I, well like I said, I can't do all of them because I got work sometimes. As you can see, I'm already 15 days on this level, which is quite long. You can also see how many kanji I know. Oh, come on, focus, focus, focus. How many radicals I know and how many words I know. Anyway, so that is uh, what I do when I wake up. Okay, so how do I learn grammar? Well, I don't really learn grammar. I just gloss over it, okay? So here's a book. This is uh, in Japanese. So make sure you have a basis, you know the basics. And then find another resource. A more advanced resource like this i don't care about all of this stuff what is this like i, I don't care about role play i don't care about the words or the reading sections or the exercises just look at these grammar points kind of remember what they mean make sure i understand them and then just watch some native content try to encounter those points and then i'll actually remember them hokani hokani mo I know that, but it means besides, onaji gurai, that's the same, kata, I didn't know this one, kata, gata, it's a suffix meaning style, type, model. Okay, let's see some examples. Tashi no ketsuaki blood, kata wa A kata desu ga, ha wa AB kata de chichi wa O kata. Okay, um, sore ni, besides, I know that, no nara, okay, I know that, and see like, let's see if we can find something interesting here. Oh, here's an interesting one. Yo to shitara, yo to shita ga, yo to shita kere do. So this is when you're trying to do something, but it didn't work. So a few example sentences. Let's see. Keki wo tsukuro toshite toshita keredo tamago ga nakata kara tsukura nakata. So I was trying to make a cake, but there were no eggs, so I couldn't make it. Ie wo deyou toshitara ame ga futte kita. I was trying to leave the house, but it's uh, it was raining. Now that I know this grammar, I've seen it. Uh, I've seen some examples. I'm like, okay, well, that's fine. I don't need to remember it. I'll just try to encounter it with when I watch native content, which we will do later, okay? Today when I woke up, I really felt like watching this video that I found uh, yesterday. Oops. Um, it's a Minecraft video and basically I, I was watching this and this is like really fun. I like this is <laughs> this is really funny really good stuff you should just find a random ass video that you like like i don't know if you like minecraft and watch this video i guess this is really good for just well just input sometimes something pops up that you don't know for example let's let's see so for example let, let's say you don't know what what it says right here you can just open another tab this show is like the only dictionary you ever need find these kanji now if you don't know how to write this kanji go to radicals and then find the parts that the kanji is made out of. Well, let me just spell it out because I'm not going to write this, find this whole thing. Ji Kang, there it is. Press enter. I said press enter. Free time, All right? It means free time. Let's move on. And that's basically what I do. And this took me like less than a minute. So find something that you enjoy and just just listen. If you, if you don't understand, like, I don't understand all of these kanji, but it's fine. Like, I know that this is to start, this is open. This one, I have no idea. This is water from the water oh wait this is actually fountain i learned that this is fountain this word but I, I i forgot how to read this just you can just skip over it because you'll hear it a couple of times and eventually it'll stick so yeah that's basically what i do um if you're interested in that you can check out this other video i there's a section where i uh, basically explain how i do this so i do this just whenever i feel like it really when i feel like watching some content i'll just go to youtube and find something and learn some words and you'll actually learn a lot of words like i learned how to say prison prisoner, guard, isolation cell, those kind of things. It's really fun. Right, so I was watching this micro video, right? And I found this 
parts where I really thought I have to share this because this is really important, okay? So remember those grammar di things that we learned, like, well, one of them was um, yo tosuru, right? Now, I found a phrase here, and just, just listen to what this girl says right here. Did you hear that? And here, oh, here it is again. Two times in a row, she says this exact grammar that we saw in the Tobira book. And this is really, really cool because you don't have to do all those exercises in the book and, you know, all those things to learn. You just gl gloss over them. You look at the grammar and you're like, okay, I got it. I think I got it. And then you do this. You, you find a random ass Minecraft video and you find, you find this exact grammar. And now I know exactly what it means. Uh, flower bed. I know that because I looked it up. Kadang. Tsukuro to omotara. I was trying to make a flower bed, but because that is what it means, right? I was trying to do something, but then something else happened. But then Hatsiga, which I think is like bee or honeybee. Yeah, and then she got stabbed by the bees and whatever, whatever she's saying. Isn't that great? Anyway, yeah, I just wanted to share that. As for speaking though, as you know, my speaking really kind of sucks because I, I never really speak. But recently I did speak with this Japanese teacher. The main problem was that I was really nervous at first. Um, you can see, you can watch that video if you want. But yeah, it's really hard when you are nervous because when you're relaxed, it's way easier to come up with words. But you know, eventually my heart rate got uh, lower. So it got easier for me. And then I did it a second time. It was easier then as well. And actually I want to try and practice speaking once a week. Uh, for this week, I haven't planned a session because his availability with his teacher because you know he lives in Japan so there's like an eight or seven hour difference but yeah anyway I can show you a bit of that speaking section that I did which is kind of interesting actually Alright, as for reading though, I recently bought this, so you can read books with this, and I wanted to uh, read this Japanese book. So there's this one recommendation that I heard of, this book called Mata Onaji Yume o Miteta, so, which means I saw that dream again or something like that. So I tried to find it, right, so I could put it on my uh, on my e-reader here but it turns out you can only buy this on Amazon or like a Japanese Rakuten shop but I don't have a Japanese account so I can't do that Amazon only uses Kindle files but those you cannot put Kindle files on this e-reader I think I do have this Kobo shop and I tried buying it here but if I buy it here and I it doesn't work for some reason it's just like no there's nothing in your cards can't can't do anything so yeah I'm trying to find a PDF or something because I know you can put PDFs on this but um yeah. All right, I gave up. I couldn't find a way to put this PDF or EPUB file or any file on my reader. So I tried to read this thing. Okay, this book. I can tell you this took me around 40, 45 ish minutes, but it is worth it. Every single sentence has something that I didn't know almost. And it is just full of words, you know, like novelist words. I don't know how many books you read, but Books also usually have these words that you don't use in real life, you know. And what I do, something that you will absolutely need is this extension right there. This is Rikai-kun. It's a Google extension. Rikai means um, to understand. If you don't know a kanji, let's say you don't know, let's say, kabang, this word kabang. You hover over it and you see, oh, it means bag. So kabang o shibaraku. What does shibaraku mean? It means, oh, for a moment. What does this next verb mean? To, oh, to rummage through, to look for. So, kaban o shibaraku asatte ita ka no jo datta ga. So, the girl, she was rummaging through her bag. In this way, you can try to understand what the sentence means and just do it sentence for sentence because it is really, uh, uh, really difficult. I did understand this, this whole thing after I had to look up a few things. Sometimes there's a sentence that I don't know at all. Like, I'm like, wait, what does all of this mean? Even when you do see the definitions, and in that case, I would just copy, copy the whole sentence, go to a translator. I use DeepL, paste, boom. So I do that and then I'll look at it again. I'll be like, oh, okay, now it makes sense, you know. This is basically what I do. 
um, one page. Just try one page and then see how far you can get. Alright, so I wanted to go to bed. Remember how I did those uh, few, like, 30 lessons, I think? These are those lessons right now. I need to review them. And I actually missed a few. I mean, I, I got them wrong. Which is because I waited too long and I forgot them. Yeah, I forgot a couple of those. But there's uh, five more uh, left. So I'm going to do those real quick now. Alright, and now let's do the remaining 38 lessons. And then um, I'm going to have to review them. So hopefully I'll still remember them. But usually I do, so... We'll see. Alright, so those are basically all the activities that I do on a regular day. As I was doing this, I saw that there wasn't really a flow, but you know, I don't really have a routine like I mentioned at the beginning. I just do whatever I want whenever I feel like it, and maybe that's good, maybe it isn't. Hopefully you got something out of this, and um, I'll see you in another video.